One of the best keepsakes we could have is the sound of one of our loved ones' voice. And it is, it's always so special, Beth. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this scrapbook page down here. If you'll notice at the bottom right corner of that black and white photograph, there's the number 11. And we actually took this page out of an album. And in the front of an album, there was this little... I guess it's, it's, we'd call it a disc. It's kind of like a flash card for a camera. You insert it in this unit, okay? The unit is switched on, and now I'm going to turn it around and press play. And number 11. 11. This is a picture of my brother and me at our grandparents' farm, Alpha Lee Neely and Lou Ella Wright Neely. It was a working farm. Cotton was grown as the main crop. In the fall, the cotton would be picked, taken to the gin, and bailed into 500-pound bales, hmm. and loaded in the Isn't yard. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then I'm going to hit play again, and it will go to number we 12. We all dogs that we would put up on the bales of hay, and my brother and I would run and hide somewhere between the bales and yell out for the dog, and he would come running and running and jumping. Finally, he would find us and bark like crazy. And as long as there's a message on there, you keep, if you hit play, it would always go to the next spot where there's a message. Great in an album because you can go chronological. Oh, this is such a nice addition to the journaling. It really is. You know, when, uh, a long time ago, when I was first married and moved to Germany, my mother would actually uh, send messages on a cassette, cassette tape, tape. Do to you my still have daughter. Them? I still have those, oh. believe it or not. Of course, that was the mid 70s. Sure. But now let's go ahead because we have a little uh, three ring album here, and this is all about us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to actually assemble this. So we'll get some um, paper glue because we are using paper. And we'll just put some on the back here like this. And we're just layering a chipboard album. Right, and we got these are already cut out. And then we're going to add the photographs. We can just Let's place put them this right. One. right. And we'll just pop a little bit on here. There we go. And if you'd like to put some glue on that, Beth, I'm sure. going to actually use a thicker glue for the hand because this is uh, this is plastic, so we do need a little bit of a heavier glue for that. And I'll put that over here. Now, this is going to be number 13 because this, uh, this song that the girls are singing has already been recorded. So I'm going to take this, and if you would pass me the uh, paper glue sure again, can. we'll put that on the top and put that over here. And then we have these numbers. This is number 13. They come in black. They also come in in white. Because some of them might look really good on here. the actual page itself, but this is, a, or the right, picture. Right, exactly. Depends on the photo if you need to right. highlight it. Right, and if it. that was like black paper, you'd want to use white. Correct. Okay, that is number 13, and that's going to go in this album. Now, the front of the album, there was one of those little cards. There was, and okay. I have it right here for you. You're going to so switch it out? So let's go ahead. I'm going to take this out, and we will put this one in. Double check, make sure that I left it on. There we go. And then, again, we'll hit play. You hear the little beep. And then 13. One, three. 13. Okay. How cool is that? And it's super easy to record, isn't it's it? It's super easy. And the thing is, you only need one of these units mm -hmm. because all these are individually recorded and you can actually put 30 messages on one of these so it's perfect to put in the front of an album and to record it it's a similar process record it it's a similar process you're just going to turn it on and then you'll go ahead and press record and it will give you a number obviously starting with one if it's a new unit you'll record your message if you like it, you keep it, then you'll go on to the next. Let's show how we can use this in I other know. ways. Because we talked about albums, but look at this. This is a growth chart. And as your child gets older and older, I mean, obviously they change. You yeah. know that, as do I. And you can put the little card in. They can record a message like once a year, just whenever they do the measurements. But look at this. It goes all the way up to... The number number 10. 10 for right now, and this was in 2006. Okay, six years of growth there. That's great. And oh. then we have some albums. This mm -hmm. works with digital albums as well. Well, exactly. You can put these little cards anywhere. They also come with a little envelope, and what you can do is you would just put this in the front to 
and that's where you're going to store your little recording card and you can leave it plain or you can decorate it. Okay. And, and again, the numbers right here, you can write them in or you can use the stickers. Right. And the numbers are very important because that's where the message is for that particular page. And here's and sometimes you can decorate these and add ribbons to the cards right, too. Right, that matches the album. Right. And again, that oh, one neat thing, you could hear the heartbeat. Yeah, I know. I was the looking sonogram. At, isn't that cool? Or the ultrasound. And the baby's first cry. Of course. You just have to remember to take it with you to the delivery room. <laughs> right, and the first giggle. <laughs> right. And all those things that you want to think, you, you always think, I'll never hear this again the first time. Right. Well, this way you can hear this again. Oh. You know, the sound is so important. I mean, you just go into the store and there's cards where you can do the little devices. And, right. you know, of course, they're very quick and it's just a one time thing. And this but is more so special. And this is a heritage album. And Isn't that beautiful? It is beautiful. And I want to bring also in this recipe album. On, on the back, we have the card and it's already decorated, but then you can, you know, maybe talk a little bit about the history of the recipe of the meatballs or the mm -hmm. casserole or whatever, or your family, who liked it in the family. Exactly. Uh, oh, a baby shower. Right. Yeah, I thought like a little baby shower book and everybody can record their uh, best advice for the new mom. And everybody's got their best advice for the new mom, right? And then we have some pages in the front too, some more scrapbook pages, family, Thanksgiving, maybe what their favorite meals were at Thanksgiving. And here's one also about poetry, the one in blue. Um, he's, you know, reciting the poems that he's right. written. Are your children, mm -hmm. uh, for example, that's just great for songs or a concert. And I know your son, he likes to play he, music, piano. piano. I should start getting it Re now. You definitely should.